Welcome to this episode of the Sunny and Stack Show. Which one am I? Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, thank you. Hey, no, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You pull up your zipper. <laughs> All right, good. What's up, man? Not much. How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. I think I got a little cold, but be yeah, right. be careful. There's a lot of respiratory shit going around. I know. Tommy it's Boyd, a... Buckshot, Baywatch, Ra Ra, holy moly. Since, since 2020, <laughs> respiratory <laughs> things been going around, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey, William, what's up? Thomas, how are you? Good I announced us. Did you see? I said, ladies and gentlemen, here they come. Lunchtime with the rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me show that. Bam. Lunch with the rats. Look at them cooking up a storm in that kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so today. Yeah. So, no, I wanted to talk to you guys about this real quick. Um, they caught that guy that stabbed that twin girl in at the bodega. Remember? We talked yep, about that. Yep. Yeah, yep. they caught him. Yeah, they caught him when quick. They were, when they were leading him to the car, they were saying all kinds of things to him, man. They were, they're going to find your sister. <laughs> you're dead. They were saying all kinds of things to him. I'm like, oh, oh straight people. Yeah, like people yeah. that were related to the girl. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, however you look at it, like a half hour after he got there and was taken inside, he got a few boo boos. He did. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I feel bad for the cop's hand. Hey, Daniel. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like he he deserves every every bump, bruise he gets, all the torture he's gonna endure. He deserves all of it. Yeah, but his uh, you know fellow people did a number on him. Because he was hey. bragging about it. Did you read that? No. They asked him, what, what are you doing in there? And he told them what he did. And they were like, really? Bing, bang, boom. Yeah, they don't like that shit, man. Hell no. I was in prison one time, right? I was in prison one time. And I was in the youthful fender block in Hartford Correctional Center, C3, I believe it was. It's like mm -hmm. uh, they bring you up this little staircase and and... It's like three tiers. There's one, two, three. And there's right. a bubble in the middle with glass, plexiglass, that thick shit. And the two cops sit in the bubble. And oh wow. There's like a walkway in between. And then there's little rec rooms. And then the cells go down. And it's really tight. And um they led might... me into the, the center one. I think it was C the C3 is the third floor and uh -huh. it, it was the center cell block. I go in there. I'm in there for like a week or something. And I see like, you know, they have um, people who clean up. They sweep the floor and things like that. Two guys come up to this guy's cell across from me. Then they're yelling in his cell. We're going to get you. You shot my brother. You killed my brother. This guy was in there for killing one of their brothers. Oh, boy. It was not. And the CO popped the door for them. They let, so let you in. Pop the door. And they opened it. Oh, shit. Yeah. They don't care. Hey, Jack. What's up, man? Ra Ra. How are you? Baywatch. Buckshot. Thomas. We got a lot of people in the house. Yeah, hey, man. Oh, Mikey man. Prima. Rogue 2022. Pink Panther, how are you? Rogue's a good guy. <laughs> so I got some new interviews that are going to be dropping today. Um, good. You know we got coming on, too? Mike Marino. Hey, what shout out to Mike Marino. He's a funny guy. He's funny as hell, yeah. Live from his mama's basement, right? right yeah, That's right, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's hilarious. Someone He's said dead. they don't like. You froze. You're frozen.
when I we froze for a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone said they don't like when I play the audio clips. So this one's for you. <laughs> if you don't like it, go somewhere else, Chief. We don't care. We don't. We don't. We really don't mind. What audio clip? That? Yeah. They were bitching about that? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Hey, they're always bitching about something. You know, you can't please them all, but <laughs> it's what, what, what does it that is. say underneath us there? Oh, U Uber Mafia. <laughs> Uber Mafia. We're in Philadelphia. <laughs> oh, so, my God. Today, we're going to talk about Chief Suckums and Chief. uh <laughs> and John Aletto taking a little trip in an Uber to Philadelphia, pre-recording a video and then releasing it later when they're out of the way, you know. They can't they can't they couldn't go to an establishment or walk down the street in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. No. That's not possible, not for these two, but it is possible for them to sit and uh, brag in a car. Let's yeah. check it out. Next one you make, hey put guys, the so Uzis in their hands. <laughs> so this is their little trip. Let's take a look. Obviously, you see me and Gene together again for the first time in a little while. Hey, guys. Mafia Reveal, <laughs> the Gene Show. We're back. That's right. So um, we're going to give you something live right now. We're torn right now. We're going to. We're going to give you something live right now, and we're going to release it later, and we're going to tell you it's live. <laughs> Can you turn that volume up on them or no? No. 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 Okay. Well, I'm not allowed. Phil. He said, "Where well, I'm not allowed." He didn't bring it back. Hey guys, so obviously you see me and Gene together again for the first time in a little while, and Mafia Unveiled, the John and Gene show. We're back. That's right. So um, we're going to give you something live right now. We're torn right now. We're going to, well, I'm not allowed, Philadelphia. I don't know. So what do you guys say about that? Well, here's what I got to say. You just got back from California, Vegas. You were flying all over the place. Uh, you're following back after my tour that I just did. Now we're to be so he said, Ooh. so he's not blinker can't... off. Yeah, I know. So the Uber has got the blinker on. So. Mm -hmm. They said that they're not allowed in Philadelphia. And here they are live in Philadelphia on a pre recorded video, nonetheless, right? Right. And, <laughs> and I, saw, uh, I saw a sign at the back window that said uh, uh, Brooklyn Avenue. And after this, we'll be shipping out again. And, and they're talking about their little tours that they do. I got an idea. Go to Bro the Bronx. There's some people yeah. that want to see you, Johnny, and there's a lot of people out there that want to see Suckums. Yes, they, they want to, yeah, they want to put their hands on Suckums, and eventually, I'm sure it's going to happen. Isn't Johnny living in the Bronx now? <laughs> Man, these guys ain't going near the Bronx. <laughs> Nowhere near it. Two weeks. This week, we're gonna head back down to Florida from the East Coast to the West Coast. And we're going to dive into what you just said about you're not able to go up in Philly. So I know you got an issue going on uh, back and forth with Joey Molino, but I have a different take on Joe. You know, I, I live. Johnny Boy's going to stick up for Joey Molino. Yeah. <laughs> really weird, right? This is his friend. This is his rat partner in crime. Very, very odd. Damn it, Mandy. How are you? Ra ra roll Mustang Mike, what's up, Roscoe? I'll tell you they're what. Under, they're under the witness protection. Back it up a little bit. Watch, uh, what do you call him, Chief Suckham's face when he says, "Yeah, I'm going to say a little something about Joey Molino," so he knows what's coming, and he, he don't like it. For a couple of weeks, in about two weeks, this week we're going to head back down to Florida from the East Coast to the West Coast. See, he's nice. Nice smile, smile going. Slowly applying Vaseline <laughs> to Johnny's undercarriage. <laughs> I know you got an issue going on uh, back and forth with Joey Molino, but I have a different take on Joe. 
you know, I, I live down there. And, uh, Where's the smile? I always look Where'd the smile go? Wiped it right off his face, huh? <laughs> what happened? Is, uh, you know, a gangster. It's a magician. It disappeared. <laughs> and, uh, he, uh, I know a lot of his guys. I grew up with them. I was in jails with them. He's getting uncomfortable. <clears throat> he can't even fucking control himself. He's boiling, bro. You know, my problems not he, Joey you know what? He was going to jump out of the cab. He's licking his lips and shit. <laughs> the reason why I like Joey is he was good to his friends. He did, he did work I like Joey school. Molino. Look at him now. Look at Gene. He's so yeah. upset. He's got his head down. Look. And then Gene puts his head yeah. out the window. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Gene put his head out the window real quick. I love that at the end. But uh, my thing's with Sammy Gavon. Sammy Gavon is a fraud. He's not Joey. Sammy's the one that... Uh, he's talking about his friend now. Now he's talking about Suckham's best friend. Yeah. Go out there and do no work. Sammy ratted on a girl, a woman. He gave her a ton of fucking boatload of time. And Sammy's out there hiding. Um, so... Hey, Joy, how are you? Not for nothing. How does the background out that window stay the same? If they're going all around uh, Philly. They're not live, man. It's a pre-recorded video. <laughs> they're probably in a back parking lot doing circles. These guys are idiots. Both of them. Total idiots. The lies are incessive. Like, there was a new interview with uh, Aleto here, the nose grower, and uh, he lies like right, right after he says something. Like two seconds after, he counteracts what he says. It's insane, man. These guys can't keep up with themselves. Right, too many interviews. <laughs> it's, it's not exclusive anymore, and they will not come on here. Hey, the offer's there. Well, either one of you idiots can come up here and counteract what we say. And I got uh I got plenty to back up that you guys are frauds. You're not what a bunch Mr. of maroons. Mr. Hitman with no hits. No hits. <laughs> How does that work? You could play for the Mets. I got a different outtake on that. I got a different outtake on that. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> I think the opposite. <laughs> it's all right. We're all out of opinions. I mean, so, I try to keep it as real as possible. I don't do I bad. Know, so yeah, 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 you're right, Pink Panther. That's, that's a good idea. He came on air and he decided to say he was going to come at all of us. So what he didn't know is that I'm relentless and I'm never going to stop. So he came at me. He said some things, and now, and and not only that, he's he's talking about rats. His uncle's a rat. His uncle's a huge rat. Okay, why don't he go talk about his uncle who ratted? And he did bring that up. Uh, yes, Joey he did. Molino said, dump him in the garbage can. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly Just what he said. Same place you two should go. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm going to uh, guy. Ball sperm cell back page mafias. <laughs> Mafia. <laughs> the social media is crazy. My he still talks to him. So it doesn't make any sense, you know what I mean? He still talks to that guy, Leatherface. What's his name? Leatherface, what I was telling you about. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who that is. The fucking, the guy with the leather face. I forgot his name. The, 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 the fucking... <laughs> what are they, two different parts of the country? Yeah. a, a light has got on a, a, a wool jacket, a scarf, and a shirt. <laughs> and the other guy's there in a t-shirt and a baseball hat. <laughs> Insane. These guys are like cartoon characters. <laughs> yeah. He had a show, whatever. He's a fucking rat. He hangs out with him. He still talks to him all the time. Oh, you're talking about... Oh, the guy that lived with John Aleto, you mean. Is that who he's talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah they lived together. That's who he's talking about. He's talking about uh, um, whatever uh, mob talk radio. The guy I used to do shows. Yeah, right. the guy used to show, do shows. Tommy, 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 yeah, Tommy. 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 Tommy is an informant. Tommy's a fucking rat. He's yeah. sitting there talking, him, hanging out with him, everything in prison. Yeah. I don't understand that. He don't bring that up, though. The guy Tommy with the TV show. What's the show called? He don't bring that up, though. 
<laughs> yeah. I must have said Tommy about 40 times. Oh, no, yeah, I was doing a, for a while, I was doing shows with him out in, yeah. in uh, Boca. And Joey's uh, good uh, friends with him. He's a fucking rat. He's an informant. So it doesn't make any sense. He's picking and choosing. He's doing whatever else does. See, my opinion on Sammy Gravano, I'll be honest with you, he was the underboss of the Gambino family at the end of the day. And whether he killed himself or not, it's still 19 murders, John. And you were the underboss of John A. Light. <laughs> you guys were not in the mafia. Either one of you were in the mafia. Me and Sonny got a higher rank than you guys in the mafia. And that's it's just weird. unbelievable how he shits on these people that cooperated like they didn't do it. It's, <laughs> it fucking blows my mind. Oh, that guy's a rat. He fucking cooperated. Fuck him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this big sack of paperwork? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's still 19 yeah. people that he yeah, had but, uh, killed or killed. You know what I'm saying? It's still. Listen, but Sammy gives a. Listen, we're going to do a show on Sicario. Yeah. We're going to talk about. They're sharing an iced tea. He oh just. Oh, my God. His lap, bro. Did he? I missed it. And Sammy isn't that guy. That's going to do a show on Sicario. Yeah, he just grabbed the iced tea out of his lap and licked the spit off it. They're sharing an iced tea. <laughs> Still 19 people that he watch, watch, watch. Yeah, but, uh, killed or killed. You know what I'm saying? It's still listen, but Sammy gives a listen. We're gonna do a show on Sicario. Yeah. We're gonna talk about yeah. mm -hmm. And Sammy isn't that guy. That's why. So he's not drinking. Yeah. He's licking. Fuck is that? These hey, guys just, are sharing. Killing. A fucking IC. That's weird, man. Nineteen yeah, people that he yeah, had but, uh, killed or killed. You know what I'm saying? It's still listen, but Sammy gives a listen. We're gonna do a show on Sicario. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. talk about you. <laughs> and Sammy isn't that guy. That's why his tongue got stuck in there. <laughs> Look at that. Look what I found in the closet. What the? What the? F <laughs> He found a pair of lips in the closet. Look what he found in the closet. <laughs> Mariah Barillo. <laughs> Standing on business. What's really up? You don't know me yet. That I just, you know, call people out. On the oh, that's horrible. You know, man. Because now you were sucking Sammy's balls now. But meanwhile, meanwhile, you was talking bad about him all over the internet. When he's away, you don't deal with rats, this, that, uh, now you want to kiss his ass. Now you're trying to side up with him. Pick a side, bro. I'm always going to call you out. I don't care about no one or nothing. I don't know if he's known me yet. That's why you are no good. He doesn't care about no one or nothing. Mm. And he's talking about Michael Francis here. Thomas, thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. Good man. You are something else. Buckshot. <laughs> this is hilarious. Thanks for the giggles. <laughs> Hot tea, iced tea, and is sausage tea. Sausage, he's <laughs> selling sausage tea now. Sausage flavored tea. I walk around, I don't care. Okay, so I'm in this game right now. I'm on the internet, right? We have a big show. I'm on the internet. I got a big show. And I'm telling the world and everyone, you're full of shit. Okay, I would love to sit with you, but you would never sit with us. So you can throw your little subliminals and try to make like, I was a capo regime, I was a boss, all this bullshit. Well, that's great. You've been doing it 25 years. That's great. You've been ratting for 25 years. That's what you need to say. What about yourself there, Barillo Lips? <laughs> Just like everyone else, okay? So stop with the bullshit. Thank you. Your Instagram is practice. I don't care about you calling me a rat, bro. I made a mockery of you guys. Remember that. The ones that call me around and I make a mockery of you every day. I lived in Howard Beach. I walked outside. Rat. Uh -uh. He is a rat. The bottom line is he's a rat. Just like the rest of these guys. Correct. And listen, there's people out there like, oh, yeah, you're just a keyboard warrior. Hey, find out. Okay. Find out. But I'm not a gangster. I'm telling you right now. I'm here for entertainment for you guys. I'm not a gangster. I'm not claiming to be a gangster. I'm here to bring you guys people's stories, interviews, and great content. So if you guys think I'm a keyboard warrior, when I'm out and about, right, find out. Shit. Excuse me.
He's never shot me, stabbed me, beat me up, nothing. How hard is it to get me? I'm driving a white fucking Porsche. It to get me. I'm driving a white fucking Porsche. Who drives a white Porsche? That's a woman's car, bro. <laughs> it's Porsche. It's Porsche, Barillo. Porsche. It's Porsche for them. To get me. I'm driving a white fucking Porsche. Here he is getting chased out of his own neighborhood. A lot of screaming going on. Borello appeared on several episodes of the Lights podcast, Concrete, which Sherd said, effectively glorifies crime and the type of activity committed by the La Cosa Nostra. She added that the former Howard Beach gangster has been posting videos of himself on social media holding thousands of dollars, wearing expensive Rolex watches, driving around in a high-end Porsche and wearing thousands of dollars in designer apparel. The prosecutor urged the judge to hold Borello without bail, citing his inability to control his temper and his expansive criminal history. See also release of Mafia Rad Gene Borello enrages his robbery victims. He pleaded guilty in 2016 to racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to three years supervised release and time served. Which He's a real hands-on type of guy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, he is. Just Even wait the reporter. You just wait till you see the hands-on what he does. <laughs> He's pretty hands-on. No, but even a reporter knew it was a poor show. You know. Which amounted to about five years in prison for more than two dozen crimes that could have put him in jail for life, Jert said. The offenses included multiple shootings, home invasions, where people were tied up, brazen daylight burglaries, possums and beatings, the prosecutor added. <laughs> An aggrieved Borello, and his mom, repeatedly interjected during Gerd's statement. I don't know why you're doing this to me, Lindsay, Borello pleaded. I made one mistake with my ex-girlfriend, why are you burying me like this? He made one mistake, how can you bury him like that? It's not he fair. Made, he made one mistake six times. <laughs> he made one mistake 18 times. <laughs> Borello's mom also weighed in, begging the judge to keep her son out of jail. Gene is a very good-hearted person, she said. He's doing nothing but the right thing. Yes, he did speak a little bit. He does have a mouth, but he is bipolar, he didn't hurt nobody and he's not going to hurt nobody. She added that his relationship with his ex is over and now, he has- He didn't hurt nobody, huh? Mm. Is, that, is that a fact? The nice girlfriend, Joanna, she's from Staten Island. The judge was unpersuaded and ordered Borello locked up without bail on the new charges. His mom chimed in, he'll probably get his throat slit by- His mom said he'll probably get his throat slit in prison. Right. So re please release him. <laughs> please, please hey, release Jackie him back to the community to do the same thing what he's been doing. <laughs> Jackie Bonds is One here. of the mobsters he helped put a- Oh, what's up, everybody? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that, bro? If he reaches for the tissues, I'm out of here. Me too. <laughs> oh, what's up, everybody? So, um, you know, I guess this has become a little online war, as you want to say. So the thing about me that I'm different than all the other ex-mob guys, and the reason why I get so many views and the reason why people are so drawn to me is because <laughs> I back up what I say. Okay, on top of that, I was running the streets really hard. Really hard? He was running the streets really hard. Do you believe him, Sonny? Yeah, he was setting fire to them. Okay. You might be the boss of Philly, Joey Molino, but remember, you're the boss of seven guys. The New York guys don't respect that, that, that family. Never did. You work for New York, you're a branch off, okay? Like I said, the equivalent of you being a boss of Philly is like being a fucking soldier in the five families. Which you never were. Right, he said, exactly. He said being the boss of Philly is equivalent to being a soldier in New York. Which you never were. You, you were so never Molino wasn't a boss. Francis wasn't a capo. Wow. And Sammy wasn't a killer. <laughs> right. Right. It's amazing. Wild. Everybody's full of you shit know, but him. You just have to ask me yeah, everybody's full of shit but him. They speak facts. <laughs> permission to do anything. So what kind of organization is that? Okay, let's get into something else. You got shot in your ass and your friend got killed. You did nothing about it. You didn't even retaliate. 
What kind of fucking gangster are you? Jada Kiss said it best. Jada Kiss said it best. <laughs> Who? What kind of mafia guy quotes Jada Kiss? <laughs> Since when it became cool to get shot and not shoot back, they shot my friend through the neck, and what I do, I tore up the whole fucking streets. You ain't kill nobody. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mafia Hitman with no hits. What happened? Now, A Light has 40 bodies. His list is going up now. Up to 40. 40. Now it's 40. Wow. Guns, everything. What the fuck? <laughs> he had guns and everything. He had guns and everything. He did, but he had no bullets. No bullets. <laughs> he, he had lips flying out of his gun. What the heck is this? It's Barillo bad. <laughs> Retaliation. That's what I did. Okay, let's get into something else. You're the boss of Philly, right? Where's the respect and the fear? You're a joke. You're so he's saying Joey Merlino's a joke. Right? Mm -hmm. I did this to the door. Huh? I did this to the door. I pushed the door in. In this Airbnb, right? Yes, I pushed the door and in. And his car is on file here. Yours. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix the door for you. So if I get charged for this? You're not being charged. I'm suing you. I'm taking I'm you to court. I'm fixing you. I'm fixing it. <laughs> I was scared. I, I was. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> That's why I came in. I was coming to save you. Yeah, I'm coming to fix the door for you. I'm gonna fix it for you. <laughs> You're a fucking joke, okay? You hid behind your name like all the other fucking fake assholes, okay? That's all I'm gonna leave it with. You're a fake assholes. <laughs> sha sha. You know you what? You can't make this up, bro. But I re I remember in the beginning when all this started. I gotta say it again. I swear his hand was told him to do that to try to get uh, to violate Joey. Hundred percent. Had to. It was coming at him too hard, too fast. All of a sudden, you know, if you if, if you're gonna get to that point, you come a little bit, you poke him a little bit, you make a couple of remarks, and you let it go. He's coming out full steam. You know, freaking Joey's going to get mad and come back. Look here, you little skinny fuck. I'll cut you up. up Boom. Now they got Joey. Yeah, they, he ain't going to do that. Joey no, really going to waste no. his time on this trash bag. I don't know if I told you, you know, the, him and uh, Snuff there were on for, uh, um, I don't know, I think an hour and a half, whatever. Yeah, I, and, watched, it, I watched it yesterday. It was hilarious. It was, oh, my God. It was like hanging out with them. <laughs> Yeah. He's yelling at the guy they call head because his head's so big. Will you shut the fuck up? Stop talking already, will you? For <laughs> <laughs> and he comes over and he takes. He goes, "Now you're gonna take my fucking cigarettes." You know? And the guy got so. How are you? He got so long. mad he left. <laughs> oh, did he leave? Yep. I got an interview with someone from Philly. Matter of fact, what do you know? What do you know? Really? What do you know? Yeah, let's take a look. Sugar Bear hey, Bar Francis. Dairy, and I'm chatting with Stax. Ooh, the Sugar Bear. Uh oh, yeah, we got a new interview on the way, fellas. I'm Albert Sugar Bear Bar Dairy, and I'm chatting with Stax. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That one's good, and I got one dropping today at five o'clock with yeah Lou Ferrante. Oh, good. Yeah, Lou Ferranti. Is it Ferranti? Ferrante. Yeah. Ferrante. Other. He's a great Ferrante. guy. Man. We, had, we had a great conversation. He's, he explained a lot of things. He told me some stories that other people might not have heard. Um, exclusive oh, uh, content. You guys will see that today. Sure. Maybe I'll give you two. Maybe I'll give you two of them. Two lose for the price of one? Yeah. That's be two videos deal. for the price of one. That is a good deal. <laughs> YouTube videos before and after washing cars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Francis, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Appreciate you. Francis took the picture away again. These guys are just jealous of Joey because he's a stand-up guy and calling them rats out. 100%. They can't stand it. 
They can't. Now they and have you know opposition. What? It goes beyond that. They they can't stand him because he, he lives by what he says. He don't say, years. if this guy comes here, I'm going left. Uh, but they end up going right. You know what I'm saying. He says, yeah. you're a rat. That's it. Don't come near me. Don't talk to me. You're done. You don't exist. And he doesn't deal with them. 100%. That's it. These guys aren't worth his time. He's got great things in the works. We just, this is all satire. I don't wish harm on any of these people. No, this none. Strictly entertainment purposes only. It like make sure you guys are aware of that. This is just for entertainment and uh, right. Saturday Night Live. Let's get back to the content. Bad about people that are your fucking joke. Okay. All right. I'm gonna embarrass the shit out of you. I'm different than these other guys. I don't come on here trying to be a politician, a mayor now. Oh, yeah. I'm a, a rat, so what? I'm going to start talking like a, I'm running for Congress. I'm a successful businessman. I'm an ex street thug. Hands on dude, bro. Go ask about me. You get Hands on dude. We, we definitely know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ask him. Uh, I did this to the door. I pushed the door in. <laughs> You're a dirty ass. He's a hands-on dude, all right. <laughs> I, I I didn't know the door was made out of paper. Yeah, I didn't know it was made out of paper, mache. <laughs> I think I hurt my elbow. This is your fault. <laughs> Blame it on her, right? Yeah. These guys, man. It, all, you had to do, all you had to do was open the damn door. The delusion that these guys live is something. It's like, a little I'm, scary. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. I nah, really it's a haven't. little scary because they be they believe their stuff. Almost every one of them. It's self-projection. You know what I'm saying? Everything they mm. talk about, that's who they are. Oh, you Jesus. Why <laughs> oh, you got Ruggiano <laughs> fixing the door? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, my God. Ruggiano, shout out to him. He's a door fixer. <laughs> and then you got the gangster there. Look at that light. He's holding a gun on him. <laughs> hey, fix that door. $500. Right? Wait, wait. Go back to that picture. He's never been that skinny in his life, Reggiano. <laughs> no, no. I did, him a, I did him justice in this one. <laughs> that, is, that is great. <sighs> Oh no, right, let's get back to the video. Any fake stories all you want. When you run into me, see who's running. These see these fake stories. <laughs> He's calling his stories fake. Mm -hmm. Wild man. Guess what? Frank Sinatra and all them really did go to his house. He's not lying about anything. He has no oh. reason to lie. Merlino. Oh, they were there were all the time. Joe DiMaggio, all them. They all Even now, he's still loved like that. He gets yeah. invited to all the games, you know, basketball games right there on the court and all that other shit. I don't see these guys doing none of that type of shit. Mm -hmm. they, they're they hiding in the back of an Uber. He 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 huh? I said he did his time. He came out, started his show, and they were like, they were laughing at the beginning. <laughs> hey, did you hear this? Did you hear Molino was gonna go do a show on YouTube? <laughs> then a month later, what are we gonna do, man? Molino's kicking our ass. Be me, brother. Okay, so we'll leave with that. You're the boss of Philly. You got shot on several occasions. Didn't retaliate. You're a fucking clown. You're a punk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a busy, busy boy. <laughs> hey, they're sharing iced teas in the back of an Uber. I guess people really just don't know me yet that I just, you know, call people out on their bullshit, you know, because now you were sucking Sammy balls now. But meanwhile, meanwhile, you was talking bad about him all over the internet. When you all over the internet. <laughs> like these dudes can't take it, man. He was going at Michael Francis for a long time, for a while. And, um, I didn't know that to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. This this one, Chief Suckums was going after uh Michael Francis for quite a while. And uh Ra Ra says I'm speechless. 
Sausage tea. Remember that. I, w I will, Thomas. <laughs> you don't deal with rats, just that. Uh, now you want to kiss his ass. Now you're trying to sign up with him. Pick a side, bro. I'm always going to pull you Pick out. Pick a side, I bro. I don't know nothing. I don't know if he's known me yet. And that's why you're going to make it nowhere in the world. You don't care about no one or nothing. Not even yourself. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Stax, I got a good interview for you, for you, bro. Let me know, Jackie. I'm around. If I know better, he wants he, Jackie wants it to be him. You ever see him? No. He'll have you. He'll have you pee in your pants. Hey, come. Let me know, man. Email me, Bill Stax, 2021. If you guys want to come on the show, if you guys have a story you want to tell, or you want to come on here with me and Sonny and chop it up with us, drop me an email and let me know. And if you want to donate to the show, you can donate yeah, yeah, to yeah. Cash App and Chan with Stacks. And make sure you subscribe to Sonny's Patreon. He's blowing up over there. Thank you, brother. Okay, so I'm in this game right now. I'm on the internet, right? We have a big show. And I'm telling the world and everyone, you're full of shit. Okay, <laughs> I would love to sit with you, but you would never sit with us. So you can throw your little subliminals and try to make like I was a capo regime. I was a boss. All this bullshit. Well, that's great. You've been doing it 25 years. That's great. You've been ratting for 25 years. That's what you need to say. Just like everyone else, okay? So stop. Just like everyone else. <laughs> what? Delusion. This was a this was a new toy for him, and it, it ended up destroying him. Yeah, I think he right? needs his meds, man. Really, right? I think he needs. His well, I, I can't believe I heard his mother say to the court that he's bipolar. Oh, you can't tell. <laughs> what? I thought he was just fucking nuts. Bullshit. Thank you. It goes deeper than that. Yeah, that's right. No filter. Gene got no fucking filter. You know that. You know my famous model to, you know, the certain person. You're a rat. What the fuck? That's a crazy you're, dude. Yeah. You're a rat. Like, come on. This guy's a cooperator and he's calling other people rats. Man. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. No filter. Gene got no fucking filter. You know that. You know, Look at the eyes. Monitor, you know, the certain person. Those are Yo, scary I'm eyes right now. <laughs> that's a scary face right there. That's a Joe Gallo face. Thank you. Nah, he ain't nowhere near Joe Gallo. He's not as witty. Not as bright. Look at the eyes. He's a dumb dumb. Thank you. My book is doing great. Um, it's selling like crazy. You know, you can catch it. Uh, like I said, you get pro um, autograph copies from me. I do need something to wipe my ass with, dude. Eh? <laughs> well, Amazon, it's all over the internet everywhere. It's all over the interwebs. Selling, it's, it's selling like crazy. Yeah, get that line up your nose. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, is guy. he just talking or is he talking to a chat? No, he, yeah, he's talking to a chat. We're still friends. No, I thought I, so. I can't speak to him right now. Yeah, a lot of people are hating on me. You know, that's that's normal. You know. Imagine if he wasn't. Yeah, our whole family. He was just talking to the voices. <laughs> he probably is. Let's go. Let's get these things going. Come on. Let's get some more people in here. We're at sixty-two already. Let's get to a hundred. That's Keep true, going. Daniel. Keep joining in. I'm gonna start getting getting filthy on here. Excellent. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. You're gonna make me puke Got with them fucking hot dogs. Let's go. Come on, start donating. You give it to all these other fucking fanooks. <laughs> give it he's always talking shit, but he's begging for money here. Come on, start donating. You give it to these other fanooks. Fanook. It, it gets them really mad when people donate to other people. So if you guys want to donate, make sure you donate. Yeah, let's make them mad. Let's make them very mad. <laughs> the one doing, the, the one that was really out there doing the stuff and telling the real stories, making everybody look stupid. Merlino got a five thousand dollars super chat yesterday. You see that? Yeah. Oh my god. One and they were, and they, people were, excuse me. They were sending them bitcoins. Amazing. Yeah, you know, one he was, was five thousand. One was two thousand. I was like, "Holy yeah. shit!" Was, was that? He, he was, was he was making a joke, and he said somebody said he was busting somebody's balls about donating, 
And uh, so the guy said, I don't have a debit card. He goes, well, I'll, I'll take Bitcoin. And the guy went and sent them Bitcoin. Holy Jesus. Hey, they raised a lot of money yesterday. We'll take Bitcoin over here, too. If you guys want to donate Bitcoin, we take cash, credit. We'll take, you Bitcoin. kid, we'll take alphabets. <laughs> We'll take your firstborn <laughs> over here. Hey, let me fast forward through the bullshit. Like, it's been a long time, bro. I haven't seen you in like this boy. Who wants him a lot? X away. No now checks, Mandy. It gets better at the end. <laughs> yeah, I always. Listen to his gay giggle. I'm none against gay people. Uh, the hot blonde, she's still around. <laughs> the hot blonde, yeah, she's still around. Don't worry, yeah. She sure is. She's right back in the door. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, the hot blonde, yeah, she's right here. Hold on. Pulling one up. She's right here. She's still around. Don't worry. Those, those finger marks on her arm... Yeah, that that was there. Uh, Self-inflicted. Yeah, she slipped in the bathtub. And uh, you know, there no excuse, nothing. I, I got no words for that except action. You don't touch a woman. No. Thank you, Luigi. Come on, let's hear something. What do you just want to talk about? You know, whatever, but uh, Mike Francis is a cunt rag, and that's what it'll always be to me. Ooh. Oh, 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 that was demonetized. Bad. Yeah, that was bad. Um, fraud. That'll never change. He's a fraud. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, lawsuit stuff. That's what they do now. Left at that, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> hot dogs and lips. Look at the hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, man. I appreciate you, Thomas. You guys are great. We got a good chat over here. Luigi, what's up? Stax, you and Sonny make a great team. I can't stop laughing. I can't believe all the work you put together with the pictures. <laughs> hey, man, it's the least I can do for you guys, you know? John Cena's rolling in his grave. His whole family's a bunch of rats. <laughs> rats! This guy, bro, he calls everyone else rats, but none of them, not one of them, We'll say that they cooperated to get out of jail. No, I've never heard him. The fuck is a what, what the fuck is a sunny cat? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> They're talking about the cat on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And they actually put this out there? No, YouTube. Yeah, this is his one of his videos from his YouTube channel. But nobody can see the chat. No, no, he he's looking at the chat while he's yeah, on the video. Yeah. yeah. Back on June twenty first, I was active from two thousand four. Oh no. Two thousand fifteen. <laughs> you weren't active. Nothing. You weren't in the mob. So active what? He was going to steal ladders for people. Is that your cat, Sonny? He said. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Francis a clown. Francis is a clown. Dude. Well, it's, better, it's better than the other name. Francis made millions for the mob. And guess what? He was in the mob. Unlike you two. And he was a cop. You, you guys share iced teas. You weren't in the mafia. Either one of you guys. So for you guys to even project that type of shit is wild. Crazy wild. Yeah. Fucking clown. Guy never fucking busted a grape. I don't think he's ever been in a fist fight. 
I don't think you've ever been in a fist fight with a man. Not true. I don't he think Barillo's ever been was pretty good. With, he was, he was pretty was good he? with his pretty good with his hands. Yeah. 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 You, you heard any stories about him with his hands? I've seen was it. He, was he a hands-on guy, Sonny? <laughs> no. No, no. We used to hang together in a few clubs in the island back in the day. Come on, when you're he, lying, Sonny. Don't lie to me. When he was just uh, Sonny's son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't but, uh, like this least, mega. That's before he was in Times Magazine and Forbes and all that shit, right? Yeah. Him when they came out with that else. list, it changed for him. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he still came... And he went around like, you know, you know who my father was, you know, you know, that kind of attitude. Yeah. But he threw those threw his money around like crazy, bought everybody fucking drinks all the time. It was all good time when he walked in. You're like, yes, something's here. <laughs> right, yeah, thank here. God. I got yeah. five dollars in my pocket. Hey, here he comes. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Let's have some. Hey, would you get a haircut, man? You look good. All right, I'll have one. Yeah, sure. Why not? He had a his eyebrows connected. He had one eyebrow, right? He big you remember that? I had the unibrow, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, yeah. How how is he? What's up, Benson Hurst? Any Bonnie stories? Yeah, Bonnie wanted to fucking kill me. That was his own, that's the story I got for him. I fucking beat the... He's talking about the boss of the Genovese family. Let's listen to what he says. Why Barney wanted to kill him. Fuck out of one of his captain's beat nephews. The shit out of him. He beat the fuck out of one of his captain's nephews. I don't believe you, but okay. This guy puts his hands on women. He doesn't fight men. Oh, uh, yeah? How, how is he? What's up, Benson Hurst? Any Bonnie stories? Yeah, Bonnie wanted to fucking kill me. That was his own, that's the story I got for him. I fucking beat the fuck out of one of his captain's nephews. Right in his house with a fucking billy club, and then they wanted my head on a stick. They didn't do it, though, right? Thank you, my book, yeah. And it was edited. It's 100 pages taken out. So um, the original version was even crazier, but the new one, the new one's good, but the, um, the original was crazy. Wait a minute. He just told the truth. Did he? Holy shit. What did he say? Write the date down. True. The publicist took a hundred pages out of his book because they thought they should, it was too too violent to put in. Actually, I should, thought they were they should have took too all liable. the pages out of his book. <laughs> <laughs> I am running out of toilet paper. Where do I get his book from? Look at Pink Panther, man. On top of everything. Sprats on the water. It's Fratizi with his unibrow. Yep, there he is. The Partridge family. <laughs> the Partridge family crime. Partridge hey, I like crime his, family. I like, I like his sideburns. <laughs> the Partridge crime family. Stay tuned. Hey, I think I love you. Yeah. Coletta, you got fucking big as a house, too. Vegas, yeah, I'd love to come out there. I just can't come out there now, but I would love to. He would love to come out there and get arrested out there in Vegas for assaulting his girlfriend. Have any <laughs> Do that the whole way on the highway. <laughs> Pretty wild. And then he can uh, fix the door in Vegas, too. He could bring that Luciano is amazing. With him. He should bring Ruggiano with him to fix it for him. That's a good-looking door. He's, he ain't getting through that one. 
No, it's reinforced. Ain't that right, Johnny boy? <laughs> it was fun, girls. <laughs> I got laid, I got laid, I got laid. Yo, I wonder if the uh, Flair got his jewelry back. I wonder if yeah, Flair got his jewelry back. That whole story's been very quiet. Yeah. I have a feeling somebody went to see him and said, here, here's a jewelry, here's a thousand dollars, let it go. Most likely. But the problem was, it was Frankie's $100 bills that they gave him. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Frankie Bass <laughs> $100 bills. <laughs> yeah, right. He's. I'll get a half a million for 50000 His That's story, right, Daniel. His stories don't make sense. The old Frankie Pasqua. <laughs> Frankie Rat Squaw. There's so many of these guys to go over. It's not even funny, man. It is. It is. It's sad. It's endless. You know, the thing with Francis is that everybody believed him in the beginning. That he swore. He swore to God and everybody think, that he could think of that he never cooperated. I never said, yes, I admit I went and I had a talk with them, but I never said anything that put anybody in jail. And those 302s were hidden. Now, who brought them out? Molino. No, they've been out. They've been out there, but Merlino brought it to the forefront, and he's got That's eyes I mean. on him. So really, he put him like this to the camera. Yeah, read really, these. Really read all these names out. that he didn't mention. But they've been out there, but they weren't. People weren't like analyzing them with a microscope because there was no one to put it on blast like Merlino did. Exactly. Exactly. And what he did is he shut these rats up. A lot of them, like they have to watch what they say now because. They know Molino go, wait a minute. What did that guy say? This fucking liar. Let me tell you this. Boom. That's why everybody's so quiet now. Because now they have some opposition. They don't of like course. that shit. They don't and like then, I heard of, then they heard about Stax and Sonny. They're like, oh, wait a minute. This is what? this is not getting any easier. Listen. Hello, this, em Emerald. This is all for entertainment purposes only, though. <laughs> Let me all remind right? you. All we're doing is having fun. That's it. And uh, did you hear about Martin to set up? No. So this guy's been in prison for 30 years. Oh, right, right, right. Let me get this story. <laughs> no, then I, it wasn't a 37 years. Something like that. All yeah. right. Or 31. Should, I, should I look it up on Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> Eh, what do you think, huh, guys? All right, listen to this. Uh -huh. All right, uh, this is straight off the government's website. Nice. Top New Jersey capo for the Lucchese crime family and his two sons sentenced to state prison as a result of Operation E, a pro- to New Jersey Attorney General's offices target multi-billion dollar gambling enterprise. So, I don't know if this is the one. So, allegedly, he's been in prison for a long time. Hold on, let me check. Let me make sure I get it right. All right, Martin Tissetta. He's been in prison. He's a New Jersey mobster, allegedly the boss of the Jersey crew of the Lucchese family. Um, Longest trial in history. Now, don't quote me on this because this is coming from uh, some some people's favorite platform. <laughs> um, it says in 1985, Tessetta and 19 co-defendants were indicted. Remember that movie with uh, what was his name? The guy from the Fast and Furious. The guy from what? The Fast and Furious. Vin Diesel? Yes, he played Martin Cicetta in this movie. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, him and 19 co-defendants were indicted in New Jersey on 76 counts of labor racketeering, illegal gambling, loan sharking, extortion, and drug trafficking, money laundering, conspiracy, and murder for hire. These indictments and... were resolved before long investigation in the Jersey crew. Much of the evidence from wiretaps, conversation, 
at the Hole in the Wall, a restaurant frequented by figures in Newark, of New Jersey. In 1986, the trial started. The Lucchese family in New York underwent a monstrosity leadership change. With the convictions of Corallo facing a life sentence in prison, Corallo uh, designed the Lucchese Capo Vicamuso as the new acting boss of the family uh, from almost immediately. A dispute occurred between Acrillo and Amuso and the independent Jersey crew, a large. Uh, hold on, let me see. So there was big conflicts in in the crew. So in 1991, Tissetta, Tissetta brothers were indicted on charges of racketeering, narcotics, gambling, and all that other shit. Um, they hit him with everything except jaywalking. Yeah, reacting to indictments and murder contract from Musso, uh, decided to become a government witness. Uh, a Coretta. A Coretta? I, I can't even say the fucking name, man. A uh, government witness testified against both Martin and Michael Tissetta in 1993. Martin Tissetta was acquitted of murder but convicted on racketeering charges. And he was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. In 2001, Martin Tissetta's lawyers uncovered that the Federal Bureau of Investigation memo that later their confidential informant cleared Tissetta of the murder. For some reason, the memo was not produced at the trial. The right. lawyers were planning to use the information to appeal his conviction. On, a, on December 8, 2005, after serving 10 years in prison, Martin Tissetta was released on an appeal. Um, a state superior court judge ruled that not receive an adequate legal presentation prior to 1993 trial to had rejected a plea bargain he would have been out of prison if he took the plea bargain so on may 8 2008 martin Tissetta was indicted along with 23 other new jersey gangsters for racketeering to set his charges included conspiracy to store collect loan sharking unidentified debt collector or debtor and conspiracy conspiring in 2007 with Gambino mobster Andrew Marola to extort 20,000 from contractors and allow non union laborers on construction projects in Morristown, New Jersey. In October 2009, uh, the New Jersey Supreme Court overturned Superior Court's ruling, reinstating to set his 1993 racketeering sentence in New Jersey. That's crazy, man. But now they just came with a decision that he's going to get a chance to appeal his conviction and get a new trial. But they pushed it back. It was supposed to be now, like this month, but they pushed it back to April. I think it's May, May 1st, I think. April or May, right? Yeah, yeah. Carmella. Carmella knows a lot of shit about this case, boy. Hey, Maureen. Who's Carmelo? Oh, Carmelo. Yeah, he played, Vin Diesel played Jackie. That's right. Mm. He made all, all the jurors laugh and shit. He was a funny guy. I think we should put Ayla, uh, Gene, A Light, and Sammy with the same guard. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and watch Epstein see what happens. <laughs> The same guards that were supposed to watch Epstein. <laughs> yeah, they should. They should do that. They need to put all these guys somewhere. But they don't deserve to be walking the streets and going. They will, you know, one day. And bragging about all their crimes. It's insane. I just don't. So, get it. You, yesterday, when they said uh, uh, they gave a light uh, absolution, right? Yeah. Once they said that, hey, you can't get in trouble, you know, but watch it. Okay, good. They say whatever the fuck they want with no retribution. So you almost can't blame them. I blame the government for that. You want to let somebody you get, all right, you want, you want, we're going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to cut you free. But Are you, you, just, you re ready for this one? Yeah. Three guys on your property. <laughs> they come to kill me five guys. You shot three guys on your property. 
You shot two or three guys on your property? <laughs> they come to kill me, five guys. Uh, Pete Gotti knew about Five guys. Here. They didn't make five guys. Burgers and fries. Burgers and fries. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. We got some really those, good were, those were the three guys that maybe all three of them died, but he didn't know about the third one. So he buried them all in his yard. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what happened right. to them. I don't, I don't know what happened to the I third had guy. Underground bell system. He had an underground bell system. It's called Gene Barillo's lips. <laughs> they were flapping underground. <laughs> His bell system. <laughs> you shot two or three guys on your property? <laughs> They come to kill me, five guys. Uh, uh, Pete Gotti <laughs> knew about it, Junior. They didn't make a move to come with me. I had the uh, underground bell system. And uh, I drove to the house. I shot it out with a couple of them. Uh, I believe I killed two or three of them. Say two or three. I believe I What's killed What's the first thing out of his mouth? Yeah, John Gotti Jr. knew about it. Knew about it what? Before it happened? While it was happening or after it happened? <laughs> Killed two or three of them. I don't remember, but they got rid of the bodies. I didn't. Right, I didn't exactly. No, I didn't have nothing to do with the cleanup crew. What the fuck? I back, back, back when that happened. I don't even think they were. Give him his IC back, Johnny. <laughs> fuck. Give him his IC back. Stop. Uh, don't. I'll turn this back all back. around. I'll turn, turn it around right now. I'll turn this fucker around right now. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll bring your asses right to Sonny. Don't make me come back there. You don't want me babysitting you, too. <laughs> oh, man. He's this is used to tell my nieces and nephew. Yeah. If you don't behave yourself. I'm going to take you to Uncle Sonny's. No, no, we'll behave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what show was that interview on? I, I forgot. I, I forgot the guy's name. But shout out to him. Make sure you guys go subscribe. I totally forgot who that guy's. Yeah. Go, <laughs> go subscribe to, to the guy that he can't remember who it is. <laughs> hey, the art of filmmaking with Damien Trites. What's going on, man? Shout out to you, bro. I wish you nothing but success on your movie or your show or whatever it's turning out to be. Oh, man. Keep the odds coming. I got a major announcement coming soon. Hopefully by Monday, you guys will see some stuff that I've been working on. But today, 5 o'clock. Okay. Don't miss it. Lou right Ferrante here, here uh, chatting with Stacks. On the Stack Show, Joe Watts was a man's man. I was, I knew Joe Watts. I was friends with Joe Watts. I was away with Joe Watts. Joe Watts never ratted on anybody. I don't know where the stories come from. I can't figure it out, to be honest with you. Uh, but I know where it's coming from. But we're not going to talk about that. No, but put it up in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it up in. Yeah. Don't talk about it, but just write it in the chat. Stack's always making moves. You already know, man. You can't stay dormant. You got to keep it going. I have probably, I got probably 20 interviews in the, in the, on deck. 20. Ready 20. for you guys. 20. I got Am one. I one of them? Yeah, of course. Oh, good. I got one called, I married a psychopath. You guys are going to like that one. Oh, Shout come out to on. Anastasia. If it's the guy, that list for that show. Would have to be over 5,000 people. No, this story is insane. But this story needs to get out there because this dude's a terrible person, man. He hurt little kids and things. And you know that shit's not tolerated. Nowhere. So it's a woman saying that. Yeah, it's a woman that, that married this guy who ended up hurting her and her kids. Oh, my and God. Yeah, so I let her tell her story and... It's going to be out by the week, by this week. It'll be out. It's pretty. Look at that. Pretty Hello from the Fremantle in Australia. Can't wait, bro. Five o'clock. That interview's dropping at five o'clock today. Yeah, he's, he is great for one thing.
Yeah, maybe I'll give you two of them. So, I yeah, got, two for the price of one. We said six part, but maybe I'll drop two for you guys. But nice. just make sure you tune in. And if you want to donate to the show, hit up the cash app and chat with Stacks. Yeah, hell yeah. Right here. I appreciate every single dollar that comes in. You know, I put the money right back into the show. And uh, I appreciate you, Sonny. Appreciate you, you too, brother. How you feeling? I was okay. I'm starting to get a little uh, stuffy now, but so far today's not a bad day. Hey, keep it pushing. Stay positive. That's the only way to be. Stay Just away help. from the Uber Mafia. <laughs> mafia. <laughs> mafia. My, it's Mafia. Get it. Mafia. Right. It's interwebs. The interwebs. All right. Stay off the interwebs. I mean, with the him. interweb. He's yeah. <laughs> and we got the best chat in the business. Yeah, we do. You guys are all great. Rogue, Thomas, Buckshot, Maureen. No, they how are. are you? Gianni. <laughs> Giovanni. They're funny as hell. hell. But they're Daniel. intelligent. They're educated. They're funny as hell. Yeah, we like to have fun here. And that's what it's, it's hanging all about. Out. I, I love we hanging out. We don't wish harm on these people as much as they deserve it. We don't wish harm on them at all. This is pure satire and entertainment purposes only. There's only one thing we wish. Ready? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. Will you just stop? Just stop. Go get a job in a coffee <laughs> house or something. Turn into a normal person. Back and get the snow off the roofs in Florida. Will you please? Yeah. Go <laughs> shovel the roofs in Florida. <laughs> oh. Did you ever do a show about Gianni Russo? Don't worry. That might be on the way. I have to call in sick that day. We'll have to talk about how he murdered all these people from the Colombians that they sent, the hitmen that were sent. Yeah. Him. Yeah. One at a time. One at a time. And he took them all out. And the cops took them all out. Took them all out. Them all out. He went to the A Light School of Self Defense. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> he did. He had his lip nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Sonny. I appreciate you. Make sure you, you guys too, man. have a good day. Everybody have a good day. To Sonny's Patreon. There's a link in the description of this video. Check them out on Facebook. And um, we appreciate it. Yeah, nice free one out there today. On uh, Just go over there. You don't have to be a member. Check out my uh, Elvis concert I did last night. I had a lot of fun awesome. doing that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, if you guys like this content, hit the like button, subscribe, hit, hit the notification bell so you can get our videos every time they drop. And if you don't like this content, too fucking bad. Start your own podcast. I appreciate you guys. And remember, don't be a bitch. <laughs> Peace. Thanks. Later, man. man.